The old web scraping methods look like this. The new web scraping methods look like this. One click, two clicks, and you got all your beautiful data. You can now scrape any website a lot easier and quicker than ever before. And you don't need any technical experience or set anything up yourself. I found a tool that can do it all for you and it's called Thunderbit, the sponsor of today's video. And today I'll be showing you how to use it to scrape data from any social media page, how to get started with Thunderbit and how to have it up and running in two minutes, how to customize the scraper so you get the exact data that you want. And I'll show you how to use ChatGPT with its incredible data analysis features to give you valuable insights. So by the end of this video, you can scrape any social media profile any e-commerce store, and basically any page that you want. So you can get the data that you want from it quickly. So let's get into step number one, how to get Thunderbit. Just go to thunderbit.com. This is the free Chrome extension that we'll be using that can give you data in just two clicks. Just click on install from Chrome Web Store and then click on add to Chrome. Now in the top, you have this Chrome icon that when you click on it, it opens the web scraper in the right side. But what can we do with this? Let me show you three quick demos right now. And by the way, this is free to use for six pages. So you can follow along with this video. And if it works for you, you can consider upgrading to one of the paid plans, but time to test it out. Take a look at this page. Say that you wanted to scrape all this data right here. Just click on the Thunderbit Chrome extension, click on the AI web scraper, click on AI suggested columns. It suggested full name, job title, and all the information. And then we just click on scrape. In seconds, we got all the information that we want and now we just click on download with the profile image and all the information on the page. Isn't that cool? But what if you're scraping e-commerce? So as you can see on this page right here, it looks like amazon.com. And one of the big things with e-commerce is that you have multiple pages. So how does that work when you wanna scrape it really easily? Again, we're gonna click on the Chrome extension, click on the AI web scraper, then we can click on this option here called pagiation. What that does is when it finishes the actual scraping, it will go to the next page and do the exact same scrape there as well. This happens even if you have 10 or 100 pages, it says max 200 right here. So we'll keep it on five, there's only two here. So the next thing we need to do is to actually click the button so it knows what to do, click and then we need to set up a new template. So we'll delete the old template that we had here and click on AI suggested columns. Once again, it found all of the product image, SKU, rating and everything. And now just click on scrape. In a minute, we got 23 results with all the information that we want. Download CSV. She look at all this clean, clean data. But what if you want to do news articles? Here is an example of of an article, click on Thunderbit, click on AI web scraper, select a new scraper template with the auto suggested. Now scrape that article, download CSV, open it. And we've got all the data we need right here. That was pretty simple, right? But let's take it one step further. But before that, comment down below web scraping if you want me to make more content about this. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you love AI and tech and stay to the end of this video so you know exactly how to do data analysis with ChatGPT on top of this amazingly beautiful, clean data. You're probably more likely to use websites like LinkedIn, Zillow, Amazon, and eBay. So let me show you that right now. As you can see, Thunderbit has these instant data scraper templates that makes it a lot easier to scrape, for example, Amazon, Instagram posts, or even LinkedIn. Let's take a look at how they work. I'll click on explore all templates and we're gonna select from any of these scrapers. 
For me, I know a lot of people are using LinkedIn as a scraping source. So I'll search LinkedIn, click on LinkedIn job scraper because I have a goal of finding a job in AI automation. So let's click on scrape now. So the first step is to go to LinkedIn. So I'm gonna search for automation and in the top, I'm gonna click on jobs. I'll make sure to select my location to remote and then I'm gonna click on the Thunderbit Chrome extension click on the AI web scraper. And as you can see, they have the pre-built template right here. I'm gonna click on yes. Just like that, it's populated all the areas that we want to scrape. So let's click on it just like that. Let's click on download again. And without clicking a single link, you have all the information that you need right at your fingertips. And this doesn't only work on jobs, you can obviously do any other type of category here on LinkedIn to get the exact data that you want. But what about amazon.com? As you can see, we're on the homepage right now and say that you are a watch store that primarily sells digital watches. Well, I'll go to the top, search for digital watch men, and we get a ton of results back. Just look at this watch, for example. How crazy is that? Well, what I wanna know is exactly how much the price is, what's the name of the watch, all in one simple place so I can adjust my prices because I wanna be competitive in the market, right? So again, I'll go to the Thunderbit Chrome extension, click on the AI web scraper, make a new scraper template and click on AI suggested columns. Like magic, it has all the info that we might want. And because this is an e-commerce automation, we can also click pagination, go down to the bottom, click on the next page that is right here, boom. And now we're ready to scrape five pages. So let's click on scrape. In just a few minutes, we got the download with over 200 products, images, price, rating, and number of reviews. But let's do one more example just to show you how crazy this is. Say we're selling houses in Austin, Texas, and you're looking for something with two plus bedrooms. Let's click on it. We could scrape over 4,000 homes, but if you wanna be even more selective, we can click on the price. We can have a maximum of let's say 200,000. And then let's click on the Thunderbit Chrome extension, AI web scraper, use the pre-built template that they have for Zillow properties search results, and it's going to give you everything that you need to know. Let's scrape it, and there we go. Click on download, and all the listings are now scraped, and we have all the data that we might need. So you may love these three examples, but you can actually customize it a lot more. So before we go into analyzing the data, let me show you how to customize the scraper. One thing you can do is to scrape sub pages. So let's, for example, say that you have this page and you have all the data on this page, but you actually want to go one step further. Well, just click into one of the profiles and here, you can start selecting new custom items that you want to add to the scraper itself. And with this, you get even more data that you might want to have from each and every single profile that you are scraping. This makes it a perfect tool for sales leads generation. The next thing you can do is to actually scrape from URLs and not from the current page that you're on right now. Because of this, you can set up easy automations that run automatically for you without having to go to certain websites click on certain buttons, it's all set up in easy templated forms. Next, we have the file and image scraper. So say you have this paper right here, you can take a screenshot because we want to have the names, the company and the email of the people that wrote this paper. We're gonna click on AI suggested columns once again, it's gonna read that exact image and get the context that we want to scrape. And just like that, click the scraper and you're gonna get all that beautiful data. Next, you can ask AI to translate, tag, determine if this is your ICP or ideal customer profile, 
when scraping. We're going to click on add column detailed instructions. This is where you actually ask the AI to do work for you. So the criteria we're gonna set up for ICP is that they're SMB, an AI company, and have more than 50 users. Then we ask the AI to determine whether it's our ICP or not and output Y. After scraping, you can see we get the exact data that we wanted and we get an AI response. And this can be exactly what you want from translating to doing simple math and criterias helping you determine if it's the right fit. And then say you don't want to output as a table, you actually want to output as a Google Sheet, Airtable, or Notion. Well, all you have to do is just connect your accounts. This little form is going to pop up. You can scrape that data and it's now going to go directly into your favorite database. So you can store it where you use it. But you might be wondering, yes, Andy, I have so much valuable data, but how can I actually use ChatGPT to analyze that? So let's go to the next step, ChatGPT data analysis. As you can see, I can just go to my downloads folder. Then let's, for example, take the Casio watch collection that we got from Amazon. And now I can ask three of my favorite prompts for data analysis. Just take a screenshot of this if you want. I'm not gonna read them. I'm just gonna do prompt number one here to show you what happens. And just like that, we got four graphs that have key trends, patterns, and outliers identified from the data set. Immediately, you get actionable insights for price trends, rating patterns, user engagement, and a lot more. So you can make the best decision possible. I'll put the next two prompts on the screen so you can play with it yourself. So do you now feel more comfortable scraping the web for your most valuable data? Well, if that's the case, go in the link in the description and check out Thunderbit. Just download their Chrome extension and you'll have it right there in your browser. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.